913 right now, the iconic story to kill a mockingbird coming live to Seattle. So the stage adaption by Aaron Sorkin uh, is of Harper Lee's classic, of course, the novel packed with lessons on justice and tolerance. And here to tell us more about it is Broadway star Melanie Moore. Hello. Melanie, good to have you here this morning. And talk a little bit about this production. This uh, is at Seattle's Paramount Theater, starts this month. This is uh, based off of Harper Lee's classic novel, but Aaron Sorkin's gotten a hold of this and, and has, has made some revisions. And, and there was some concern by Harper Lee's estate even over this version. They settled out of court. Here it is. It went to, to Broadway in 2018. Richard Thomas says it's kind of a, a cocktail of empathy and, and, uh, and also tolerance, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I would say over revision, I would sort of just say sort of like a reworking, a reframing of the story. Uh, you know, the text and the details from the book are intact. Nothing has really changed right. there because uh, that's our source material. Uh, but in terms of uh, the way he wrote it, he wrote it from uh, an older scout's perspective, looking back at the events that happened around Tom Robinson's court trial and the way that the town responded Bonds, the way that it shapes the children and Atticus, and then the events that come after and questions that she has. So, um, I play Scout in the show. I start the show with a question around the events that happened, and then I take the audience fully with me, uh, Dill, and Jem on a journey. We go back in time and then sort of move forward and backward. And um, I think Aaron really focused on the heart of the book and what so many people remember from the book, which is the trial of Tom Robinson. Uh, and uh, he and does law dramas like nobody can. Yes. So those court scenes are so moving. Uh, and Richard Thomas is just so amazing. Um, and yeah, so it, it is very, I think he did such a great job because so many people know and love the book. When you walk in, you're immediately thrown off by sort of an adult scout. I know I look pretty young, but <laughs> uh, an adult scout. And I'm talking to the audience. And I think people immediately have to use their ears to listen instead of sitting back and saying like, oh, isn't To Kill a Mockingbird great? Right, uh, right. So it's quite, um, it's quite fast paced and uh, you know, people sort of are thrown off in the beginning but then really lean in uh, and people, we just started our shows yesterday and they, it was great audiences so thank you if you came. <laughs> and what is it that you personally are most excited about the audience experiencing or seeing here? I'm, I'm so excited for audiences, not just here, but across the country to see the show. Um, obviously, people can't always make it to New York to see our shows on Broadway. Um, and I think that we hope that people walk in, especially in the wake of uh, the sort of racial reckoning that we've had in 2020, 2021, and moving forward. And you walk in and you see a story that's set in 1934 and recognize that it's not that far off, just changing a few details from things that we're reading about today and walk out and have an experience in theater that makes you feel like, oh, I do need to rise to the occasion and make sure that when this show is revived 50 years from now, it doesn't look so similar to the things that we're reading about today. And uh, understand that, like, maybe I play a part in that. How, how can I get involved in my communities to know my neighbors instead of, like, Atticus in our show saying, I don't even know these people anymore. How could this have happened? Right. Boy, mm -hmm. that, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? I mean, it really brings it to the fore. And I remember reading To Kill a Mockingbird for the first time when I was a teenager. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, you? Yeah, teenager, yeah. Right. So now it's been banned in some school districts. It's been removed from required reading lists for middle schoolers, mm -hmm. even at uh, one of our local high schools here. Here. Uh, how do you feel about that? Just the, just the, the message of that and, and kind of the classic theme because we all read it. We all sort of understood what it was really about at that time. And now some kids are, are being, uh, you know, removed from uh, that sort of conversation. Right. I mean, I think that uh, on both sides, you know, the far right and the far left, Aaron Sorkin, we did a press conference uh, recently and he said it best. He said, you know, why are we not allowing the kids to read it if you have problems on far right and far left and then talk about it in schools? Isn't that what we're supposed to be talking about in schools? I think that um, this and one of my colleagues, uh, Yegel Welch, uh, said it best. He plays Tom Robinson in our show. He says, this is a story about a white family experiencing black trauma for the first time, which in 2020, a lot of white people and a lot of people who are not black in our country experience that because of what we were seeing uh, and the way that, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't uh, sort of escape it. And I think that for a lot of people, they, they uh, I mean, on the far right, I think uh, the perspective is that it makes Jim Crow era South 
myself look bad and to that I have a lot of questions but isn't the point of school and our country to say okay what do you get from this and what's your perspective I don't think we should be telling kids no no, no you can't read it we should be teaching kids and having them come to the table with their different perspectives well, Melody, thank you so much of for joining course. us. And yeah. we, I can't wait to, to see the show. It is uh, To Kill a Mockingbird at the Paramount Theater. And uh, tickets on sale right now.